everyone! Welcome back to my channel. Before I start my vlog for today, sa mga hindi nakakaalam po dyan, I'm into baking. I love to bake. Na marami akong bini-bake before na mga cakes. Pero all of them, they are chocolate flavor. Kasi hindi ako kumakain pag hindi chocolate yung flavor, guys. Lahat sila chocolate flavor lang talaga. Even ice cream, I only eat chocolate flavor ice cream. I decided to stop lately kasi tinatamad at dalawa lang kami dito hindi namin mauubos pag nagbake ako ng marami since wala na akong maiisip na content i decided to back into baking so today i'm going to bake a red wine chocolate cake so i got the recipe from this book guys dito delicious from bali little and sa likod meron siyang sinasabi na 60 deliciously tempting recipes so, wala pa akong na-bake kahit isa dito. So, that's why I start, I will start dito sa red wine chocolate cake. So, this one guys, ayan, yan yung ibibake natin ngayon. So, I'm gonna show you the ingredients. So, these are the ingredients. To start, you need a baking pan like this. And you need a red wine. We have red wine. And then, milk. We also need... A softened butter. I have some measurements right here. Tablespoons and cups. We also need baking soda, baking powder, cocoa powder, and these are fresh berries, blueberries. And I have vanilla. We also need caster sugar and a dark chocolate. So I'm using the Whitaker's dark chocolate. And a whipped cream. We also need this one. So I'm gonna put all the measurements in the description. Just please check it out, guys. I forgot to tell you guys that you also need four eggs. So first step is you need to preheat your oven to 160 degrees Celsius. And then the chocolate, it needs to be melted chocolate. Ina melt ko na yung chocolate, guys. And then you also need to grease your pan if you're using non-stick pan. But since I'm using the silicone, this is non-stick container so I don't need to grease this one. So it said here we'll set together the flour, copper powder, baking powder and baking soda. So it said here using an electric mixer beat the butter and sugar for three to four minutes until thick and pale and then add eggs one at a time. Okay, so, malapit na siyang mag thick guys. Ito yung ayaw ko yung butter at saka sugar kasi ito matasik-tasik siya. Ayan. Thick na siya guys. So, ready na ang ating mixture sa butter and sugar. We'll add the eggs one at a time. So, ito na yung pang four ko na eggs. So, yung reason ko bakit sinisiparate ko yung eggs dito, guys. Kasi yung eggshell niya, para hindi ako mahirapan pag mayroong mag-drop na eggshell. Isi lang sa akin. So after this guys, I'm gonna add the melted chocolate. So ito yung melted chocolate ko guys. Super yummy. Ayan, so mix lang natin. looks like ice cream. Hindi pa nga siya tapos. Oh, ang sarap na tingnan. So, after nito, I'm gonna add the flour mixture. So, 
will just mix this one and then after we'll add the vanilla. Wow guys, mouth watering now. <laughs> Super yum. So we'll add the vanilla, the red wine and the milk. One teaspoon of vanilla. We'll add the milk and we'll add the red wine. And guys, one half cup of red wine. So, ito na yung mixture ko, guys. Grabe na aamoy ko na yung mm, red wine. Oh, I'm so excited. This is actually my first time to bake this red wine chocolate cake. So, wish me luck. Sana maganda yung resulta, guys, no? Ayan. So, transfer ko lang siya dito sa baking pan. So, guys, just a piece of advice. Pag hindi mo passion yung pagbibake, huwag mo nang ipush, guys. Masasaktan ka lang. <laughs> Dapat passion mo siya or gusto mo talaga yung ginagawa mo. Dapat masaya ka na nagbibake ka. Ini-enjoy mo lang kasi pag nagbibake ka, para ka lang naglalaro. So, enjoy lang guys para maganda yung resulta. And another thing is, you need to follow kung ano yung nasa instruction guys. Kung ano yung measurements niya, you need to follow. Walang kulang, walang sobra kasi pag nagsobra siya, or nagkulang man lang, pangit na yung, yung resulta, yung kalabasan sa binibake mo. So, dapat lahat talaga, ano siya, exact measurements talaga siya. So, nilevel ko lang siya, guys. Pinapantay ko lang siya. Okay na. This is ready for the oven. I'm gonna bake this one for 45 to 50 minutes and I'll be right back. So while the cake is in the oven, I'm gonna make a chocolate ganache for the toppings. So these are the ingredients, dark chocolate, the butter, and the cream. So ito guys, and I'm just gonna put this all together so it needs to be melted, the chocolates. So ito yung mixture ng chocolate ganache ko guys. Ayan, malapit na siyang magmelt. So, dapat kaunti lang yung ilagay mo na water under para hindi siya mag-boil, guys. Dapat mag-simmer lang siya. So, ito na yung chocolate ganache ko, guys. Melted na siya. So, hayaan ko lang siyang mag-cool down dito until mag-thick yung mixture niya, guys. Pag hindi na siya mainit, pag malamig na siya, doon mag-thick yung mixture niya. Ito, guys. So, sinistir ko lang. So, ito siya. Super yummy. Chocolate, chocolate. So, I'll be right back, guys. So, guys, luto na yung cake ko. Papakita ko sa inyo. Ito na siya, guys. Ayan! Look! So, I bake this for 46 minutes. Kasi, ano siya, 45 to 50 minutes. So, it depends if luto na siya. So, yung technique para malaman mo kung luto na siya, kuha ka lang ng toothpick. Ito, din ilagay mo siya dito. Pag wala siyang something dito sa toothpick, that means luto na siya. Pero pag may something, something, yung cake dito, pag meron siyang cake, that means hindi pa siya luto, guys. So, ito na. Malamig na ang cake. So, it's time to put the ganache. So, ako ng a bit of cocoa powder. Kaya it looks like that, guys. Now, I will put some berries. So, this is my red wine chocolate cake. Yeah. Ilagyan ko siya ng mga strawberries, guys, para mas maganda siya tingnan. So, 
guys, that's all my vlog for today. And thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, I hope you don't forget to give me a like and feel free to share. And if you're new to my channel, I hope you consider subscribing down below. So thank you so much for watching once again, guys. And I'll see you next time.